let's start our most awaited formula and most popular formula for VLOOKUP. So, as you can see, we have a data in which I have containing some EID, date, supplier name, customer code, DPL, payout and month. So, now I have some EIDs. On the basis of EID, I have to search their details. If I have some 5 or 6 IDs, I can easily uh, press Ctrl F and find where it is and then select and paste here details. But this procedure fails where when we I have more than 50, 60 or thousands of values. So for that we use VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP, the full, full form of VLOOKUP is vertical lookup. VLOOKUP search left to right basis on the first value. So let's take an example of VLOOKUP equal to VLOOKUP. It has four parameters. First is lookup value means what value is to be lookup. I said that this ID then comma next value is table array. I go to data and select the whole data then press comma and next value is column index number what is column index number when you go in your table array a column index number or the first uh, in between of data the first column has having index 1 and the second is second third fourth fifth sixth seventh it is very easy so I want to figure out the date which is in column index 2 uh, type 2 because date is in 2 column index and then the second value is range lookup so I always select false here which is used for exact match because if you select a uh, true which is approximate uh, approximate match uh, will return you uh, some unusual values So control shift 3 for date format as I have told you again okay. then our value shows here now for supplier name we again apply formula lookup value EID then go to data select the value and uh, this time I have to uh, look for column index 3 and false for exact match we can zero we can use also zero in place of false now again we now need cust code we look up look up value go to data select all data now cust code it is on column index 4 0 now dpl such as but every time we I am applying this we look a formula it may be it very irritating when I have lot of columns here so what is the shortcut for this and what we can lesser in the our process that for dragging any value I need to freeze the data because when I drag some data it will change its reference uh, if I drag this to here it will change A2 from the uh, plus the column I have dragged suppose I have dragged three columns then it will uh, change in A, B, C, D, E 
maybe like that and if i drag them down so their row numbers which is 2 or 3 or 4 hey, they also be changed so i need to freeze that values which should not be changed so uh, at first in lookup value which is this i want to fix its column changing i don't want to uh, change its column while dragging so i fix dollar in front of a which is column if i uh, fix uh, uh, dollar uh, in front of 2 it will fix my row also when i drag them down it will show always uh, the result of a2 then also the data will be run so i will fix a in front of uh, I fix dollar in front of A only but in our data I apply uh, do, uh, dollar in whole table array because I don't want to change my data data uh, when it will move to s then it can also be possible then what value we are searching it can be uh, upside and when the range is lost so the value should could not be found by vlookup formula so we enter that we have frozen the uh, whole data enter that now dragged all now what i need to do i just have to change their column index number just here here i have column index for column index 5 column index 6 column index 7 it is in date format so I will choose general format formula now the data can be dragged now what is other option for that we have a column formula in which if i select any reference it will give me the column number uh, it is on 13 column index from a to here it was 13 so i can also use with vlookup just look up value ah, I have taken table array now I just use that column in column index number is this and after column index number I need to fix zero or false now after freezing the values I'm not going to fix that column function which I have used for column index number because I want to I want that the value should be changed so that our correct column index can be seen here so I just copy drag the result and here is the result but it fails when you or uh, when your value start from here because uh, for this value the column of function will return 3 but in your data selection it is the uh, it is on the column index 2 so 
a shortcut function for that is such as this data you can also do uh, such as manual calculation where there was one column difference only so I will do minus one here and now drag the value oh god so there are several type of uh, mm, shortcuts or qu quick uh, tricks which you, you can use for extracting your data now let's uh, uh, one more example with VLOOKUP while I tapping all the data I I uh, sorry I have not selected that uh, lookup value first I have lookup value then I choose table array now if I have to put column index number which is 2 3 4 5 6 7 I can enter like that in curly braces the column index number I have typed which is required for me now I select the columns which is required press F2 in this function kindly note I have using the column index values in curly braces multiple column index numbers in curly braces separated by a comma inside curly braces now I have selected the data and selected the column in which I want to apply VLOOKUP formula press F2 for add itself then control shift enter here is your result now you can drag and yeah, so, so there are many ways to use VLOOKUP formula and now I will tell you the use of this range lookup is true or false the use of true for approximate match what is approximate match uh, you must have uh, recognized that I have used in uh, this type of data to uh, to fix in incentive against sale which is like that 0 to 40 500 incentive 41 to 80 1000 incentive 81 to 100 1500 incentive more than 100 2000 rupees incentive this we can also do with VLOOKUP because when we have fixed the formula it was too lengthy and complicated but here here I want to fix that formula using VLOOKUP while using VLOOKUP we need to change the data according to VLOOKUP so what is that 0 500 81 1000 uh, uh, I'm sorry 41 1000 now 100 no 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 81 and now 101 now let's apply VLOOKUP here 
we look up the look up value will be your sale the table array will be this column index number will be this one 2 and the range lookup will be true I just freeze the value so that table should not be changed now I track this how this worked see for 86 which is under the group of 81 to 100 was 1500 it created a group 0 to 40 it was 500 then 41 to 80 it was 1000 81 to 100 it was 15000 and 100 to above it was 2000 so it uses the approximate 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 match in approximate match it returns the nearest possible value in which group it exists so it is also a lot of use of VLOOKUP formula. Now let's move on to others.